In Hunt Showdown, when you recruit a new hunter, they come with randomized health bars. You always have a maximum of 150 HP, and some people would say that the way they're oriented doesn't matter or you don't need to pay much attention to them. The beauty of Hunt Showdown is though, that there's so much depth to the game, I'm gonna tell you why you should pay attention to your health bars every time you recruit a new hunter. Before we get into the juicy details though, if you didn't know already, I stream Hunt Showdown five days a week on Twitch. You can find the link in the description. I try to be as educational and helpful as I can be, uh, so feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments or when I'm live on Twitch. So first things first, I will absolutely concede the point that dying with a 50 bar on the end does suck. It absolutely sucks, yes. But losing any amount of health sucks. Is being at 100 HP worse than being at 125? Yes. However, given the changes in 1.3 to small ammo and the rate of fire of some of the guns, plus the fact that the Sparks, LaBelle, and the Mosin, which are the three main long ammo guns in the game, they all do over 125 damage. That means no matter how much health you're down, you're in a bad position, no matter what. Now on to the many benefits. My preference is definitely for having a big bar on the end. It allows you to take more damage before you need to heal. Grunts and uh, zombies in general can sometimes very easily take off 25 HP and depending on what you're doing at that time, you could either have to go and find a, a global med kit or you have to use one of your own. And you really don't wanna use one of your own first aids because you wanna save those for actual fights with players. You should have every possible source of healing available to you. And if you had to use a, a first aid because you lost a 25 bar to a grunt or, a, or an immolator or an armored, that just sucks. You could lose a fight because you didn't have that one first aid. Alternatively, you could try to go and find a global med kit, but sometimes they're really hard to find. Resupplies aren't always right next to you. And depending on the situation, you could be you could be on your way to the boss layer where they're banishing right next to an extraction. It may seem insignificant, but trust me, the timings, they, they actually matter. These are the details in Hunt Showdown that matter. Sometimes you're chasing after somebody that has the bounty and you need to go through that water right now. A water devil's initial damage will not take a 50 bar off. It will take 25 off though. Sometimes a pack of grunts will get a little wild and they'll take a 25 bar off, but they won't a 50. An armored's melee won't take a 50 bar off, but it will take off a 25. Then you can just regenerate that health. So does having a 50 bar on the end only help you in PVE? Not at all. There's literally been hundreds of times I've been tagged by somebody's bullet in the arm or the leg and it did not take a 50 bar off. Even a nitro. I've been hit by a nitro and it didn't take a 50 bar off. All I had to do was wait for that health to come back and I was good. The more of your own heals you have on you, the better. Your own first aid kit is going to do 50 HP worth of healing. But with a big bar on the end, you never have to wait for your health to regen for you to use it to its full potential. What do I mean? If you're in a fight and you get tagged, say down to 50 to 75 HP, you don't have to wait for that health to regen again in order to go back to maximum HP. If you're in the middle of a fight, you absolutely do not want to be sitting there waiting for your health to come back, stuck in a bad position, and uh, having your enemies advancing on your position while you're just sitting there with a med kit in your hand waiting. You do not want to be doing that. If you have a 50 bar on the end and you get tagged between the 50 and 75 HP range, you all you have to do is pop the one med kit, your health is gonna regen, you can still move around, you're not locked down to that position, you can still be evasive, it's a much better situation to be in than having to sit there and wait. In the same vein, global med kits only do 100 HP worth of healing. They do not instantly heal you all the way like vitality shots do. If you have a small bar at the end and you're critically low and try to use a, a global med kit, you will not full heal. You have to wait for, your, for that health to come back in that very last bar in order to get all of your health back. Now, not only that, but in update 1.4, they're changing Hellfire bombs so that if you get hit by one, it'll immediately take off a 25 bar and you will not get that health back until you either go back to the menu and put another bar on or you have to go banish a boss. If you have a 50 bar on after update 1.4 and get hit by a Hellfire, you will only get burned a little bit. It will not take your 50 bar off completely. That is a big, big deal. I bet you didn't think there was this much detail and thought process that goes into what I do with my health bars, huh? But that's it, guys. I hope this video earned your subscription. If it did, don't forget to also hit the bell and like the video. Would absolutely appreciate it, guys. The link to my Twitch, once again, is in the description if you guys want to come see me play live. While I make content on both Twitch and YouTube, I don't at all want to recycle my Twitch content. I'm not going to make a bunch of Twitch highlight videos. I feel like that's extremely lazy. Not at all what I want to do with this channel. So expect more educational and informative videos coming very soon.
Thanks again, guys. I'll see you out there.